Okay, this is Mike Farley. We're in South Lake, Texas tonight. We're talking about perimeter overflow spas. So what's cool about perimeter overflow spas is there's water running down the side of this. It doesn't look like it, but it's wet. That's because water hangs up on the surface. So this is the one spa you don't want to sit on the edge of uh, without your bathing suit because you're, you're going to get wet. Water runs over the whole thing. It gives a really cool look. Kind of looks like a cube with the water reflecting on the top and no overhangs and those sides glow listening with the tile. So one thing a lot of people don't think about is the trough. See, you gotta have, the water runs over, you can't have it run on the deck. Okay, so there's gotta be a place that it goes. So you're gonna have a trough all the way around a perimeter overflow spa, or it could be in the middle of the pool but it's commonly got a, an area where the water runs over into. And a lot of times people don't think about the details of this space. So the first thing is, is the tile going to go all the way down to the floor and all the way across and all the way back up? Or is the tile just going to go to the water line and then you're going to have like a pebble sheen or some finish, pool finish like the rest of the pool in this space? So this design is about simplicity and clean and tailored. So having one material and then switching to another material and then switching back to another material kind of chops it up a little bit. So this is a really nice look is to take the tile all the way down into the basin. Now that adds some costs, but it, it also adds a lot of beauty. So the other cool thing is what's it going to look like at night? So a lot of people don't think about this either and it glows in the middle but the outside's kind of in the shadows. So one of the things you can do is you can actually put lights in the channel to light that space up and help light up the side of the spa. So normally you're not looking at me in the daytime, you're gonna be looking at cool night shots now of what that might look like, or maybe that it doesn't look like. Now the other thing, the last thing is, how do we keep this channel clean? Because if we have a Polaris that's running around in the pool, that means the pool guy shows up once a week and comes and cleans out the channel, so it gets kind of grungy and dirty looking. Uh, or you could do in floor cleaning, and in floor cleaning heads can be positioned in the channel to blow all the debris out. Sounds like a great idea to me. So other things to think about is the distance from the edge of this coping to the, to the spa, because we're gonna sit down on the edge of it. So you don't wanna get this distance too wide, otherwise you're gonna have to step in the water, which is really kind of cold in the winter, or you're gonna have to put a stepping stone in there to step on, which kind of breaks up the clean look. Now what some people do, which is cool too, is they'll slide this over where it looks like the water's running right into the coping, except there's a little slit. So you don't see a channel at all. So that's another alternative to consider. So you just wanna think about details. It's all about the details and coming up with what's gonna be best for you. So if you're interested in those details, hey, give us a call. Or if you like this, give us a thumbs up. Or if you've got other questions, post those down below. If it's helpful, share it with your friends. So you guys have a great day. This is again, Mike Farley. We're in South Lake, Texas. Hoping you have a great night. Uh, we're gonna be getting in this spa later on and it's gonna be really fantastic. So see ya, bye now.